ghost villages of Iran. These deserted buildings tell of dramatic social change. It's hard to believe this used to be a thriving community of 350 families. Now there are just a handful left. A story repeated across the country. In the last four years, President Ahmadinejad has tried to reverse the decline. He's built up his power base here, speaking to their more conservative social values and pumping in money. But many villagers are heavily dependent on the government, like Hussein, whose breaker has been hit by a cut in his state allocation of flour. Everything depends on the government. If they don't give us enough flour, then we cannot have enough production, so we cannot meet our costs. It means Hussein has lost a third of his income. And today, just for good measure, he can't bake anything because there's a power cut. It's the villages of Iran that have benefited most under President Ahmadinejad. They're getting higher prices for their produce, and many of them are getting electricity and water and phones for the first time. But that hasn't stopped the continued migration of people away from these rural areas. And this is where they're going. A new generation of city dwellers are chasing the latest fashions and surfing the internet. All this is perfectly legal in the Islamic Republic. Just. I know where the red lines are, but we keep pushing them forward. And they're moving. But there are two we never cross. Nothing should be against the teachings of Islam or the belief of the people. Amongst this new generation are the young women who make up nearly two-thirds of university students. They have rather loose interpretations of the dress code and very different aspirations from their mothers. 20 years ago, maybe, the most important wish for women were getting, having a good marriage. But now, the first wishes that they want is job, because they, they knew that economical freedom is much more than anything. Independence is very important. In this election, the contrast between those two Irans, modernists versus traditionalists, has never been so stark. 